Hi everyone, today I will help you to uh, solve the problems of the quiz part uh, 2 and also some extra, uh, some extra exercise uh, so that you can understand the chapter 2 more. So the first question that we have are two countries, home and foreign. And the labor force of home country is 1,200. And they produce uh, two goods that are bananas and apple. The unit labor requirement in apple production is three. It means they need three hours to produce uh, one unit of apple. And in banana production is two. In foreign country, the labor force is 800 and the unit labor requirement in apple production is 5 while in banana production is 1 so you have uh, now you have to graph the whole foreign and the world production possibility frontier the ppf line for home country foreign country and the world so how can we uh, draw the home ppf line so, first we uh, consider home country that if uh, the home country only focus on producing uh, apple, the maximum quantity they can produce apple is 1200 divided by 3. So the maximum is 400, right? If they only focus on producing apple and no producing banana. And the second is if they only focus on producing banana, they use all their labor force to produce banana, then the maximum quantity banana we can get is 1,200 divided by Two, so we have 600. So we have two this value, and then we draw. We have two point, and from this two point we can draw the line, and this line is the home PPF line. Okay, and we can calculate the slope here, that is equal to 600 divided by 400. What does the slope mean? This one, 3 divided uh, by 2, 3 over 2, this one is the opportunity cost of apple to banana. Okay? And the same, we can uh, draw the foreign uh, PPF line. So, if foreign country only focus on producing apple, the maximum quantity of apple they can produce is 800 divided by 5. Uh, then we have 160 for apple. And if foreign country only focus on producing banana, the maximum quantity uh, of banana they can produce is 800 divided by 1. So we have 800. So the same, we have two points here. Then we just connect these two points. We can draw the foreign uh, PPF line. And the same, we also can calculate the slope here. That is the opportunity cost of apple to banana. And it's equal to 800 divided by 160 is equal to 5. That is our uh, how to construct a home and foreign uh, PPF life. How about the world? So first we have to check uh, which country will produce, will specialize in which products. So we uh, compare the ratio between the unit labor requirement cost, uh, sorry, unit labor requirement uh, of apple in home country to 
foreign country and the ratio between uh, unit re label requirement for banana in home country to uh, foreign country so this one is the relative relative unit requirement uh, for apple in home country to foreign country and this one is relative uh, unit label requirement in banana in home to foreign so we compare to this uh, value and we can see that the unit the relative unit label requirement in uh, apple in home to foreign country is less than uh, the unit the relative unit label requirement for banana in home to uh, foreign country so we have conclusion that foreign country will specialize in banana and home country will special specialize in apple okay this one uh, I already explained very carefully in the last video or in the slides as well so we can determine which country specialize in which products so here is our conclusion so uh, see when foreign countries specialize in banana the maximum banana they can produce is 800 divided by 1 so we have 800 here the first point okay and the second point I want to five is when home specialized in apple, the maximum quantity of apple they can produce is 1200 divided by 3. So I have the second point, 400 here. Okay. Then here is the quantity of apple that uh, home country produce. And here is foreign country produce banana so how about foreign country produce apple if foreign countries use all their labor force to produce apple uh, they can produce 800 divided by 5 that is 160 so we have the next point is equal to 400 plus 160 is equal to 560 and the same if home country produce banana the maximum quantity they can produce is 100 uh, 1200 divided by uh, 2 right so they have 600 so we have the second point that is equal to 800 plus 600 so it's equal to 1,400. So we have one point, two point, three point, and four points. And we just connect the light. And we have this line is the world PPF light. Okay. And from here, here to here. We can see that if we do international trade, if the home and foreign country trade with each other, the quantity, the total quantity they can uh, produce in the world increase. Okay, so when they do international trade, uh, it have the world better. Okay, the second question is how we can construct the world relative supply curve. Earlier we construct the PPF life and now we construct the relative cur uh, supply curve. So we can uh, draw it for apple, the supply curve for apple and supply curve for banana. So here I will teach you how to uh, construct the relative supply curve for apple and you can construct the uh, relative supply curve for banana by yourself okay
first you have to uh, construct the x-axis that is the relative quantity of apple to banana and it's equal to QA plus QA star divide by QB plus QB star that is for the relative quantity of apple to banana and since app are the home country home country specialized in apple and foreign country specialize in banana so this qa star is equal to euro right and but foreign country specialized in banana so this qb will equal to euro so this one we have what we have left is qa divided by qb star okay and the y-axis is the relative price of apple to banana and here we can we want to calculate this point how we can come up with uh, euro point five this point is the point that are the relative quantity is this one and we can calculate the qa is equal to the labor force the total labor force uh, divided by the unit labor requirement of apple in home country right because they specialize home country specialize in apple and it's equal to 1200 divided by 3 that is 400 and the same when the foreign country specialize in banana the maximum quantity they can produce is 800 divided by 1 so we have 800 so we have the first point is in in x axis is 0 0.5 and the second point i can uh, i want to calculate that is the relative uh, unit requirement a uh, unit label requirement of apple to banana in home country that is the this ratio and it's equal to 3 divide by 2 and it's equal to 1.5 so it's the first point that I can calculate and the second point is the unit re, uh, the relative unit label requirement for apple in uh, to banana in foreign country and it's equal to 5 divide by 1 and it's equal to 5 then I connect those points together this and that is the relative supply curve for apple and why we have the step life like this the shape like this i already explained in the last our video but here just remind you again if the relative price of apple is less than 1.5 less than the, this ratio what will happen there is no re, uh, there is no supply for apple right if the this ratio the relative unit label uh sorry if the relative price of apple is less than the unit label requirement of apple to banana in the home country both country both home and foreign country will specialize in in banana that's why there is no supply for apple in this area but when the uh, relative price of apple uh, is equal to this ratio is equal to 1.5 both are both are foreign country and home country will produce apple okay yeah, at this point how about here when the relative price is 
uh, let me write it here relative price p a divided by p b if it's less than 0 0.5 both country will specialize in banana if p a divided by p b is equal to 0 0.5 then both country will are produce apple and if this ratio p a p b the relative price is smaller than five and larger than let me change another color larger than 0 0.5 the country will just specialize in one product based on their comparative uh, advantage so here home will produce apple and foreign will produce banana and when can I write here? Please catch up. P A divided by P B equal to five. Then both country also produce apple. And if it's larger than five, then both country will specialize in apple. Okay. So let me summarize you to draw the word, uh, sorry, the word relative supply curve. You have to find three points. The unit, uh, the relative unit re label requirement uh, for apple to banana in home country. The second point in YSS is the relative unit label requirement in apple. Uh, to banana in foreign country and the point of relative quantity of apple to banana okay so you have these three points you can uh, connect them and draw the supply curve supply curve okay okay next question I give you the information that the demand for apple divided by demand for bananas is equal to price of apple as sorry price of bananas divided by the price of apple. Then now please graph the relative demand curve along with the relative supply curve. So earlier we already uh, draw the relative supply curve, right? And now we have to uh, graph the relative demand curve and how we have our uh, the given information that the relative demand of apple uh, to banana is equal to the relative uh, price of banana to apple so it's converse of one divide by the relative price of banana of apple to banana right so here i find the point uh, if the relative price of apple to banana is equal to 1 the relative uh, demand of apple to banana is equal to 1 divide by 1 is equal to 1 if this ratio is equal to 2, then the relative demand of apple to banana is equal to 1 divided by 2, that is 0 0.5. And I choose another point is our, the relative price is equal to 5, then we can find that the relative demand is equal to uh, 1 over 5 that is equal to 0 0.2 
So some students might wonder why I choose the value 1, 2, 5, but not 3 or 6. So this depends on you. You just need to put, uh, choose at least at least uh, 3 points so that you can uh, draw the curve. It's like how, I, how you study how to construct the straight line or the curve in high school. Uh, the reason why I choose uh, the point those value 1 to 5 because it's easier uh, for me to uh, draw the curve so let's see how it's easier so the first point I have is 1 1 so here 1 here 1 here so I have the first point the first point is 1 1 the second point is 0 0.5 and 2. It's not really accurate, but if you use the ruler, maybe you can uh, have more accurate point. So the second point is 0 0.5 and 2. And the first, the third point is 0 0.2 and 5. Well, let's say your zero point two is here. So I have the third point that is here. So I have three point. I can draw the curve. Go through that three point. So here is the relative demand curve and the next question is what is the equilibrium relative price of apple so please remember for me the equilibrium relative price happen when the demand is equal to the supplies so here is the intersection between uh, supply curve and demand curve so it's this point so we can see that the relative price of apple is e equal to 2 okay how if I have the demand curve uh, is here if the demand curve become here Then the relative, uh, the the equilibrium relative price will equal to five. And how if the relative uh, demand curve is here? Then we can see here the trade price will become one point five. So. The equilibrium relative price is always the intersection between the relative uh, supply curve and the relative demand, like the price that make demand and supply equal to each other, match with each other. And in the first case, the blue line and the green line, that one is uh, incomplete specialization happen and for the red line here is when uh, the complete specialization happen okay so so far that is for the question one we will move to the question two this question is uh, quite easy that we only consider one country that's the home country and the labor force is 1200 units uh, they produce two products that is apple and bananas and the, we have the unit labor requirement in apple production is three and in banana production is two the selling price of banana is nine dollar and the selling price of apple is five dollars the question is what product should hold specialized then we can calculate the wage uh, they pay for the people who work in apple production sector that is equal to uh, the selling price of apple five dollars divided by their 
number of hours they need to uh, produce uh, one unit of apple and it's equal to $1.67. The second one is we calculate the wage they pay for the people who work in banana production sector and also equal to the selling price of banana that is $9 and uh, divide by the unit labor requirement of banana production that is 2 hours. So we have uh, the wage uh, is $4.5 and in one factor economy their labor freely move to the sector that pay them higher so here the labor in apple production sector uh, will move to the banana production sector so we have conclusion that home countries should specialize in producing banana because they uh, can get the higher wage Another way we can uh, make the conclusion is we compare the relative price of banana to uh, of apple to banana and the relative unit labor requirement for apple to banana and we can see that here in this case the relative price of banana of, of apple to banana is less than is smaller than the relative unit labor requirement for apple to banana so we can make the conclusion that is home country will specialize in banana and foreign country will specialize in apple so that is so far uh, about the solution solution for some uh, exercise so maybe I will give you homework so that you can practice to understand more about uh, those uh, exercises that we already learned. Okay, thank you.